no, I was just working an event. I swear to God, like in the beginning, right before I was coming to Christ, there were like all these people making fun of me all the time. And like, as I was coming to Christ and then after I came to Christ and it was a ploy by the devil to get me to fold or to make me feel a certain way about who I was. And so there's a part in the Bible where it talks about, um, I'm surrounded by my enemies and, and this kind of thing. So this is the situation that's kind of happening right now. I don't know if you guys have seen the recent Matrix, that, but there was a part where all the homeless people were attacking Neo and they kind of represented those spirits that were in Neo and trying to stay in Neo and all that kind of stuff. And so I literally just worked an event and like this dude spent the whole time making fun of me. It was so peculiar that it's like, I don't get it. I get somebody making fun of someone for a second, but this was literally like three hours straight of him talking crap. And not like talking to me, but talking behind my back. So it was like gossiping, it was slander. Um, so the thing is, I think in the beginning, I would have been like, you know, is there something wrong with me type deal? But now I realize, no, there's something wrong with you to be doing that in the first place because it's just a waste of time I feel like it's a waste of time and waste of energy and the unfortunate thing is when you do those kinds of things you end up falling um and he probably doesn't even know why he's falling he feels like it's normal to just talk crap about people or whatever because I know I felt that way everyone else was doing it so I had to do it as well and so it's just peculiar how God changes your mind and that kind of thing because while my feelings were hurt I feel like God kept talking me out of it like this is the truth this is a lie what he's saying the devil is going to try to break you down in any kind of way that he can if he can't break you down in one way he's going to try to find another way to do it and so because i've been holding on to correcting people and rebuking people and telling people the truth the devil can't deceive me you know concerning certain doctrines so now he's trying to come after my you know self-esteem or whatever the deal is so the best way to come after somebody's self-esteem is to try to make it feel like they're doing something wrong when they're not. So this is another situation that has been happening when I'm posting on Reddit or whatever the deal is. Like I'll do something in my everyday life and I'll think about it to see if it aligns with God or something. Um, and then the devil will try to come and try to make me doubt like what I was thinking or my decision type deal. So the brand that I was marketing was called, is, is supposed to be like an upclass type deal. And so I'm marketing in this store and they're not, you know, it's kind of whatever, like people that like to go to um, distilleries, like it's kind of that kind of vibe, like whatever. It's definitely not an upscale type deal. And um, that's what they want. Like they want classy. And so I was being very reserved and very classy with my marketing and it was not good enough for them. Like he wanted me to be super, ah, but that's like, First off, that's not my style all the time. Sometimes it's my style. Today, it's not my style. Thirdly, that's not what the brand is representing. And so it's the same thing. Like the devil is trying to tell you to be something that you're not in order to put you in a position of shame. Toward the end, I was just kind of like, Ugh, whatever. Like rolling my eyes at that point because I'm just like, who spent so long doing that? I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. Um, so yeah, just be aware. Um, the devil is calling around like a lion seeking those who he can devour and uh he's gonna find the dumbest ways the most vain ways to do it things that aren't of importance is what i'm trying to say so very much pay attention to what people are saying and how they're acting towards you and think if what they're saying or how they're acting toward you is of importance um as the devil will come and try to make it seem like unimportant things are important like he'll start talking about your spelling like oh you missed a, an a in that <laughs> like, it's gaslighting at its finest. So you guys be blessed and have a good one. Bye.